Hey guys, today we're talking about sex and penetration. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to our channel. We're talking about purity love. Okay, I'm not doing this to cover my and we face life TV tummy rolls, but I'm actually covering it from prevention of my coochie. You know me, my coochie. <laughs> He's Could gonna you? take a shot of Coffee Patron. My favorite Patron. I took mine already. Okay, so today I haven't really touched on the topic um, abuse. And it very much consists of many forms of abuse. I did mention physical, emotional, mental, but I didn't mention the sexual abuse. I was actually molested as a child and this is a topic I hardly talk about. I was molested as a child. I was actually molested as an adult as well. Um, sorry, my nose a little runny. And I didn't really touch much on it. And my dear husband here he's gonna talk about the after effect of abuse dealing with the repercussions of an abused woman because like i mentioned in previous videos and i the continue to eye. mention yes <laughs> and i continue to mention and but i never get into depth and details about any of my abuse um it actually started as a child there was this guy my mom honestly she trusted so much she would always leave me with him and I was a big girl a big child and I loved food and yep it may sound I know some of you guys may be judgmental and it's fine it's okay but everybody's like I always mention everybody life experience is different everybody's personality is different and I cope with food. When I was happy, I would eat. When I was sad, I would eat. When I wanted um, anything, I would eat. I would eat and I would overeat. So as a child, I was, um, I wouldn't say grossly obese, but I was obese. And this guy, my mom, she honestly trusted him. I only told her about this when I was about early 20s. Because for a month of years, I actually, um, I blocked it out. And I actually never used to talk about it. And from time to time, it would come back whenever I'm triggered. So that was my first sexual, not, we, it wasn't penetrational sex, but it, my first sexual encounter yeah, is with some, yes, it, it, it really did um, affect me mentally. Hold on, baby. This water is dripping in the corner, it's disturbing how we do. Hold on. You'll get back to that, baby. Go ahead. Yes. So, um, he, he would show me different sexual, um, sexual act, such as, um, he would jerk off his penis and ask me if I knew what cum was, which I didn't know what cum was. I didn't even know what sperm was. And he would jerk it, he would touch by my private area, but he would never penetrate me. And we actually moved a couple of years after, and I was so happy. I was like, oh my God, thank God I get in, get in to go away from this man. But in return of that, he would give me food when he cook it. And I like the food. Me being a little girl, I didn't even know that was something... Um, that would affect you in the... That was something explicit. I didn't even know it wasn't something good. I thought I was doing something wrong by taking the food and allowing this man to show me all these sexual acts and his penis and stuff like that. Anyway, eventually we moved, but the abuse still um, continued. I always um, talk about the mother womb. That's... Um, we... You know, people go ahead and they make kids and they're not 
fully committed and aware and healed because there's a lot of broken people. I like to say broken people attract broken people um, and hurt people hurt people. So I'm not going to put the blame on my mom. I'm not going to be resentful or bitter or hurt towards her. But she was my first abuser. Um, this is not even me lying about it. I love my mom dearly. I love her so much. But sometimes we do things to our kids and we don't even realize what we're doing at the moment. And she's my, she's my, I would say my greatest abuser. Yeah, the different forms of abuse. You guys yeah. should be quiet. Simple tunes quiet. Because yes, of, it's there. There's she, so many a, different forms of abuse. There's a, there's a topic that she's um, very sensitive on. Um, to be very open, you guys have to respect that. That she's open up to you guys in the world because maybe you guys are going through it as well. Yeah. And this is what this platform is here for: to be open, to be honest, and not being judgmental to anyone as well, but giving positive feedback from you guys to make you guys grow and feel happiness that she's feeling right now because yep. of the incidents she's been through. And everybody must know that that's not your fault. Sometimes you take it in that you will lash out because it's not your fault. It's not your fault at all. And within my family, all family, within as being a man of the host, I would say, I don't like to use fault and problems. There's always a way you could just address it.